brake. Five horsepower, four horsepower. Four horsepower Mercury. Rigid bottom. Uh, these mounts are what it sits on. If you're um, doing an extended sail or a crossing or bad weather, just let the um, let the air out. Sit on those mounts and then strap it down so it doesn't go anywhere. Armour hatches. So massive amounts of storage down inside. Someone's painted some normal house paint over the top of the, the West System epoxy, so that's all flaking off, but um, the epoxy underneath is all good. So that's looking aft. So you can see up in the sides there as well, there's all storage up in the side. And there's a spinnaker hiding down there somewhere and the, and the generator. Go inside. So these flaps just zip down, it's all closed up. Oh, I can and step in. Let's see. Got a little hand operated nut on here, so we can take the wheel off. It just means you have heaps of space to walk through either side on anchor, and the wheel sits in this little spot up on top of the rear hatch. Sail controls, uh, how you controls, how you'd winch, F forwards. Front hatch, so you just got these curtains. So that's an enclosed position. Just open up inside the forwards. And there's washboards to go in here as well, but we we never really use them when we're sailing because the uh, this drop down curtains are enough. So starboard side, it's a single berth. Storage underneath, little seat with storage. Huge big storage down beside the centerboard trunk on both sides. And the only trouble with storage is if you have it, it gets full of stuff. Um, it's the main double bed forward. Uh, fan up in the corner, bookshelf. And we've just got our foil over the window just to keep the the light out while we're living aboard on the marina. Storage, undies and stuff, whatever. And what else can I show you? All right. Underneath the floor. There's more storage down there as well. And through those holes there are the water tanks. So there's poly water tanks in there. They drop drop down from on top. Uh, if you ever need to replace them, you just take out the the floor of those storage lockers beside the um, the centerboard trunk, and they they're accessible there. So that's that. Bilge pump down there that never gets used because the bilge is always dry. So we've got the like the change room, bathroom kind of next section. Again, massive storage up in behind there on both sides over the wings. 
and underneath goes even further back. These, these big tubs back here. You can put stuff in. This is where we were obviously keeping clothes, but you can store whatever you like in there. And sink. Again, heaps of storage underneath. Storage down underneath my foot here as well, if you wanted to use it. Same as the other side. Storage, so we still got full of all linen and stuff. And all the seats. Got storage underneath. The seat here has also got storage. And little shelf. Ah. So, what else? Okay, so that's bathroom toilet. There's a there's a sump under there. Shower sump with a pump. Pump switch is here. Pump out the shower sump. We just use it that pressure bottle for showers just because it works and it's easy and it's simple and it's one less system to break and electric toilet switch for the toilets just up on the wall there and forward of the toilet is the anchor winch and just some spares and front hatch that's it okay so privacy curtain and there's also a curtain up here as well. Just to, if you've got other people in the boat, so you have a bit of privacy while you're getting changed. Okay, that's forward. Go aft. The way past. Do you know a control winch? Deck winches, turning block there for the Genoa. Main winch goes through. Oh, you can see through the three uh, pulley blocks on the main. Main sheet. Four hatches. got another double pad on this side. Again, we've got all Caframo fans throughout the boat, all LED lighting, just for power consumption. So it's a very, very efficient boat to run. Runs off solar without any any problems at all for our usage. Uh, other side, so this is the main switchboard. All the circuit breakers and meter there that tells you charging and also battery voltage, so that's all good. Um, chart table, full of all chart table junk, as chart tables do. And forward in here is more storage, like little bits and pieces, knickknacks, boxes some various paper charts and the air conditioner unit stereo ericsson w35 uh, mobile phone i don't know what you call it um booster um it's not really a booster but it, yeah it just takes the signal and um uh it's got a aerial up the mast and so even when we're your mobile phone stops working this one keeps working for for ages so even we were like 30 miles out off the coast of, of sailing up the coast to between brisbane and Mackay, and i don't think we lost um we don't we didn't lose mobile signal once the whole trip so it was good uh air conditioner control panel 
vents for the aircon, HF radio, oh yeah, it's boats wide for 240 as well, so there's 240 volt point there, there's another one forwards and there's more in the galley, so here's the galley, really need a wide angle lens. Uh, I'll get in trouble for my wife showing all the messy cupboards, but there's again usual Jim Brown thing, storage everywhere. Just massive amounts of storage. Um, yeah, nice saloon table. Window at the back with a fan. Uh, underneath the saloon table is the fridge with heaps of heaps of storage. So even in underneath that condenser plate, there's more room underneath there. I won't put the camera in there in case there's anything gross. Um, where that rope is, there's more storage behind the fridge. Shelves underneath the uh, the steering gear there. So that's the hydraulic ram for steering down the back. And all these seats have got storage underneath them as well. This side here has got the compressor for the fridge and the HF antenna tuner. Uh, this side has just got random junk. All sorts of things. Bosun's locker, line locker, first aid kits, all sorts of things. Uh, that's the saloon, room for three people on each side fairly easily. More storage on the port side. Same stove. Storage, storage, storage. Cool little things like this pop up. Knife rack underneath and access to the cutlery, uh, the crockery. Gas stove, oven, really big oven for a boat, and what else, oh, on this side, four drawers, rubbish, rubbish bin, more storage, we've got manual uh, manual redundant system there for the for the fresh water, just foot pump, and a salt water pump as well. Salt water at the sink. So this one is salt water, obviously fresh water. Uh, fire extinguishers and charges and engines down underneath the cockpit on the port side. Uh, We've got the, the Waco freezer here, just for some extra refrigeration. And eco lights. The timber, the timber work throughout the boat just is really nice, it gives a nice feel. I've been on board Jim Browns that have just been all painted with the with the roof the string is painted and um, I think it just doesn't look as nice. I like the like the little the timber highlights throughout the boat. They're really nice. Oh yeah, little um, dome speakers, our sphere speakers, just hide up in the corners. So there's two speakers here for the saloon and there's also some outdoor speakers in the cockpit for when you want to listen to some tunes. But yeah, so this is a saloon facing forwards. It's a bit hard to see with my camera. It's in a very wide angle. Then you come forwards and you're in the cockpit. And we've got all these cushions all throughout, so it's a really nice place just to relax. 
and obviously the full cover over the top keeps all the weather out. Um, I can't think of anything else to show you. That's about it. Okay.